Hello friends, welcome to the weekly Prepper Pantry Hall. This is Lee, the Cold War Prepper, and this is the week ending Saturday, June 1st, 2024. So we got in two orders from uh, commercial vendors, two my two favorite vendors, as a matter of fact, and uh, we'll get into that here shortly. So start off, we did get one um, coffee pot, air pot, and this is a vacuum stainless steel uh, air pot, kind of like a big thermos. And uh, this one keeps coffee hot for about 12 hours and warm for about 24. Uh, I did just did a uh, short on air pots. And what I do is I'll make a pot of coffee in the morning and then I'll pour half of that pot into the air pot uh, to get my first cup of coffee out of the air pot. And while I'm drinking that first cup of coffee, I'm letting the other half of that pot stay warm on the burner for the coffee pot. Uh, then when I finish that first cup of coffee, then I'll pour the rest of the hot coffee off of the burner into the air pot. That keeps it really nice and warm for at least 24 hours. So you can still drink it the next morning. That's Let's put it that way. So in a world where we're going to be very, very short of heating supplies, um, fuel to keep stuff hot, once you get hot, water hot or coffee hot, you need to keep it hot for quite a while. You don't want to have to start a whole bunch of new fires. At our uh, weekly meeting with, um, I'm sorry, our monthly meeting with the uh, Texas Preparedness Group, our leader showed me he had a five-gallon jug like I have, and he had this uh, air pump water system. Uh, so you just push down on the handle there on top, and it forces more air inside. It's kind of like an air pump for the coffee pot, uh, only this is for the five-gallon water jug. So this is completely manual, and I loved it, so I ordered one and got one just like his. Uh, our orders from shelf um, to table. And oh, by the way, uh, Kathy was kind enough to give us a 10% discount code. Uh, so if you attend our monthly meeting June 15th in Georgetown at the uh, San Gabriel Park, will be in the uh, Springs Pavilion. And if you're there, not only will we have a 10% discount coupon uh, for any purchases from shelf to table, we will also have a 20% discount coupon code valid for two weeks. Uh, for any purchases from Nutrient Survival. So we're going to have some good discount codes if you happen to be in the area. So what did I get from Shelf to Table? Um, I, I'm, we started off with Chuck Wagon Chili. We have some freeze-dried chicken enchilada soup, uh, freeze-dried uh, Sloppy Joe, Asian chicken fried rice and vegetables, quarter-inch cubed ham, half-inch cubed ham, and dried meatloaf. This is the only company I am aware of where you can get meatloaf. And that's one of the things I really love about them. I don't know if I could last too long without my meatloaf. Not that much from the normal grocery stores. I did get uh, a can of tomatoes, tomato sauce, tomato paste, and one can of tomato soup. So kind of a tomato focus there. Uh, picked up one package of uh, Martha uh, White's Just Add Milk um, banana nut bread. Then I did get some more candy bars and shrink wrapped those so that they will last for quite a while. Some stuff for Helen's Pew Pew. Uh, we got some, and then from Nutrient Survival, the uh, creamy vanilla shakes. We got the two different kinds of uh, sample packs that they have, the most commonly purchased as well as just the favorites. And so, you know, that's just a wide variety of different things that we'll have available to us. Uh, did get a package of five of the um, chocolate crunch bars, uh, and that's an entire meal in that bar, by the way. And then we picked up two of their, uh, what they call nutrition re ready to eat, NREs. So this is basically a drink and an entree and other things, a, a bar and everything else to help you along the way. So this is a grab and go bag, and this is perfect for your uh, uh, bug out bag uh, as far as a, a full meal. Then the last one we got was a two and a half pound uh, bag of whole bean uh, Costco French roast coffee. And that way we can grind that, whether we want to do it through a normal coffee pot or we can grind it and have it for our percolator, which will be used on a campfire. So that's what we've got this week. Um, our, our Nutrient Survival has a fantastic sale going on. I will put the information on that in the show notes down below. Um, there are some things on good sale. One of them is uh, ground beef. So freeze-dried ground beef is on sale this month. And uh, 
uh, just remember that we're all in this together so we can come out the other side together. Please be kind, polite, and respectful to each other because togetherness is the key. Take care.